Dak Prescott is coming into his third season as the face of the most valuable franchise in sports. Obviously, he's used to having all eyes on him. A rare personality can handle that kind of pressure, but he's got it. Babe Laufenberg has more on the boys' quarterback from training camp in California. Babe? Leadership is a lot like the famous 1964 Supreme Court ruling on obscenity. When Justice Potter Stewart wrote, I can't define it, but I know it when I see it. When I see Dak Prescott, I see leadership. I feel like I've always been a leader, so I mean, it's just about finding new ways to lead, and it's going to continue to evolve each and every year, uh, every year that I get more experience and I get older, so it's just about finding new ways that I can lead, new ways that I can um, come in contact with my, with my teammates, motivate them, or do whatever I have to do to get the best out of them. You know, he's one of the most natural leaders I've ever been around. You know, we talked about it you hear the last couple days, he just has an amazing way of, first and foremost, setting the right example for how to do things. I think that's number one uh, when you're in a leadership role, but then just his ability to connect with different people of all walks of life. It's a big part of your job when you're a quarterback, and you have to embrace that mantle, and he's certainly done that. If I get to know these guys as, as men and as a brother rather than just uh, the jersey number, then uh, when you're on the field, it all comes easier. Notice that Dak Prescott said easier and not easy. When I asked head coach Jason Garrett who was the best leader he has been around outside of his father, he immediately said Troy Aikman. Not bad company for Dak Prescott to keep. In Oxnard, California at Cowboys Training Camp, I'm Babe Laufenberg.